Hello, Brick Sculptors, and welcome back to Brick Sculpt. This is Chris, and today we're going to talk again about the D Snot piece. Yeah, I did a video on this yesterday, and it got a lot of attention, and I think we raised some good questions here. But one thing kept lingering in my mind what is the measurement of the offset? If you haven't watched that video, I recommend watching it first. I'll link it here as well as at the end of the video because it'll help this video make a lot more sense. But what I'm talking about is this here. We discovered that in bottom aligning pieces, the D snot in the bracket didn't totally fit because they don't align perfectly with the bottom of this one by one plate. So I wanted to know how much they didn't align by. And another good way to demonstrate this is if we take anti-studs, we can take these bottom aligning pieces, stick them down, and use this as sort of a stud reversal. They fit perfectly together. In fact, they even have a little gap for tolerance there. But if we try to do the same thing with our D-snot piece, The results are not as pleasant. They will not stick together. This is making an illegal connection. Same thing if we try with a bracket. It's arguably even worse. So I started to wrap my brain around this and say, okay, how can we measure this? I don't have advanced measuring tools here, nor do I want to buy advanced measuring tools. And even if I did, these pieces do have a degree of tolerance. It's plastic, it's molded. I don't know that it's really going to do much good anyway. I'm sure somebody who works in measuring would say otherwise. So first thought was, okay, let me use my LDU ruler. If you're not familiar with this, I built this in a previous video showing all the steps in one LDU increments for one brick width or 20 LDU. Um, now this is not super accurate because all these pieces have a degree of movement. This is on a base plate so it has a degree of flex. But it's a good place to start. So I built up this little piece here. I have a bracket with a tile on it. I take a D snot, put a one by one plate and a tile. And that shows pretty well that little height difference right there. So I said okay let's put that together and hold it up to my LDU ruler and see if it's accurate enough to measure. And I'll try a few different spots because like I said there's some inconsistencies here just because of how this is built. You can see these pieces moving a little bit. It's definitely smaller than one LDU. There's a good example right there. So then my next thought was, well, maybe it's a half an LDU. But how do I prove that? I don't have anything to measure a half LDU. Well, one of the comments I got in the first video was that if you multiply it, you can make it into something more measurable. I thought that was a fantastic idea. One of the problems with measuring this type of gap is by just stacking up the pieces, you can't measure it because these pieces are not out of spec. They are exactly two plates high for each one. That's not the measurement in question. The measurement is the placement of the stud. So I thought, okay, well, what if we put them on a plate? Could we measure multiple that way? Well, no, because the only thing we're measuring is the offset on the very bottom here. This part is measuring, but the rest of these are just in line. So I can't do that either. So how was I going to get this to a way I could multiply it and measure it? Well, this is what I came up with. First, I was going to combine both of the dreaded pieces, just like this. Now I figured the bracket on this profile is the same height as a brick. So we're just measuring what's underneath here. If we do this and multiply it and stack them one on top of the next. But then I thought, okay, if I do this and stack these really high 
it's going to have a lot of play and a degree of flex to it. So I need a way to reinforce that. So I thought maybe I can put bricks over here and clamp them down to make it stronger. But the problem is we're multiplying this little tiny offset. So the bricks are going to get more and more out of spec. So I decided to try something different. I built the same shape again, but I doubled it. And then because I need to stack these, I had to have a smooth surface. So I incorporated these pieces here, where I just have the studs on the outside. And in doing this, I could give it more strength and stability, but stack it as high as I wanted to. Now that brings the next question. How high do we want to stack it? Well, when talking LDU, for most applications and most people, I would argue that for LDU is about as far as they will go. As far as pieces you can find with LDU, you usually don't find anything that's not either 8, 4, or 2 LDU. 2 LDU is uncommon, but it is a piece you can find and measure. And my best example would be the top of this hinge plate is 2 LDU. So I figured 4 high was a good place to start. Because if my suspicion is that these are half LDUs, that would be half, one, one and a half, two LDU. So then I rigged up this base to stick them down to. And I encountered yet another problem. Because I'm using both of these cursed pieces, <laughs> the D snots and the brackets, not only am I getting that little bit of height gained vertically, I'm also gaining it horizontally, which meant I can't just put bricks up to this, it won't be accurate. So I incorporated a brick sculpt classic, the trans slider method. So that way we can slide this right up to here and get a decent measurement. Now keep in mind there will be some slop to this. There's a lot of connections here and I'm doing my best to keep everything as tight as I can but it's never going to be perfect. But here you can see just a tiny setback here from the slider and this right here is what we're trying to measure. If I put a tile on top That's looking pretty promising of 2LDU. Let's go ahead and try it with the piece. It's a pretty, pretty good fit. Oh, well, what do you think? Is that a perfect fit? And down here you can see this gap is about 2LDU as well. Not bad. Now again, most people measure no smaller than 4LDU, and the bigger we make this, I would argue the more accurately we can measure it, other than you are gonna have more connections, so more room for error. So I decided, let's go ahead and try to take this all the way to 4LDU, which in half LDU increments would be eight high, I have to modify my base a little bit for this one because I'm going to try to get to another degree of accuracy here. And to do that, we have to move our sliders back. So here we'll bring in another four layers and carefully put this on top. Again, I have to try to keep everything as tight as possible to keep this as accurate as possible, which is incredibly difficult to do, because all we're trying to measure is these tiny little differences that you see right here 
which should add up over eight layers to make something significant. So there we have eight layers, which would be half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four LDU. And as we know, four LDU is the width of a bracket. Now to get the stack right, what I do is I just count the height of this. These brackets on the side are the equivalent of one brick. So if we count those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's eight bricks. Three plates is a brick, so one, two, three, eight plus three is 11. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two thirds on top and the jumpers on the bottom makes 11. And you can see right there the difference in height. Now to make sure this is hitting at the right spot, I can also measure, if we assume that there's eight layers of these brackets as well, this should be set back for LDU as well. And we can do that. We can put a bracket in here. If we're dealing in five plate increments, that's the same as two studs. We can put this down here to make sure that our setback is accurate as well. So we have a perfect 4LDU setback, which means that if we do this stack and we push it right up to there, that's where they should meet. And then I can take my bracket, put it on top, try to get you a better look here. It's not bad looking. To me, that's a pretty seamless connection. So what do you think? Is it proven? I know it's sloppy. I know this is not super scientific, but with Lego, this is about as accurate as I could get. Let me know if you have a better method or if you could work this out mathematically. I'm good with math when it comes to physical things. When it comes to equations and stuff, I get lost and I really don't care, to be honest. But let me know what you think. If we can prove this is half LDU increments, we could also very easily take our LDU ruler and start to incorporate layers of half LDU. So I could double this. I could go from one LDU increments, 20 steps, to half LDU, 40 steps but I'm not 100% sure if this is a half LDU. And that's what I want to ask you guys. What do you think? Are you convinced? Can you do some math for me? Work it out in the, the, the mathematic way? Or are we not sure? Well, that's all I got for this one. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to do more just like this in the future. And we will see you next time.